This underrated theorem I am about to show will make you forget Pythagoras's theorem. Imagine you have a triangle where one angle is exactly 90 degrees. In such a right triangle, there is a famous and beloved theorem which we all know is called Pythagoras's theorem. This theorem tells you that if you take the side opposite the right angle and call it C, and the other two sides A and B, then the square of C equals the sum of the squares of A and B. However, what happens when in the triangle not a single angle measures exactly 90 degrees? For example, imagine a triangle where this side is of length 5, this side is of length 7, and this angle between these two sides is 60 degrees, and this is not a right triangle. Then can you find the length of this third side? This is where Alkashi's law of cosines steps in to save the day. It is a brilliant extension of Pythagoras's theorem, designed to work with any triangle no matter how its angles are arranged. Imagine you have a triangle with sides labeled A, B, and C, and let the angles opposite these sides be called A, B, and C, respectively. Now, if you wish to find the length of side C or this side, and you already know the lengths of sides A, or this side and B, or this side, and the measure of angle C between them, this theorem provides the answer. It states that take this side C and then square it. It will be equal to the sum of the squares of side A, or this side, and the square of side B, or this side minus 2 times A times B. And now here comes the important part. This 2AB times the cosine or the cause of angle C, and that's it. This might sound a bit more complicated than Pythagoras's simple addition of squares, but it opens up a world of possibilities because it applies to every triangle, not just the right-angled ones. And here's the beauty of this theorem. Assume if this angle C is a right angle or 90 degrees, then, using the trigonometric table, we all know that the cause of 90 degrees is simply zero. So, this will become zero, and we are left with C square equals A square plus B square, and it is none other than Pythagoras' theorem. Noise. Now let us solve this problem and find the value of this third side of this triangle given this is 5, this is 7, and this angle is 60 degrees. Let us label this side as A, this side as B, and this side as C. Also, let us label this angle as C, so we have A equals 5, B equals 7, and angle C equals 60 degrees. Now, simply substitute these values in this formula. We get C square equals 5 square plus 7 square minus 2 times 5 times 7 times cos of 60 degrees. Thus, C square equals 25 plus 49 minus this will be 70 times cos 60 degrees is half. So C square will be 25 plus 49 minus 35 or 39. Therefore, C will be equal to the square root of 39, which is approximately 6.245, and that's it. Now solve this question and let me know your answer in the comments. Isn't this an amazing theorem? Shout out to Alkashi. Also, if you like it, please don't forget to share this video and support this channel by joining our fast-growing mathematical community and becoming a member. So... Good!